is The Morning Exchange with Fred Griffith and Lee Jordan. Welcome to today's Morning Exchange, live with Robin, Mark, Fred, and Anita. Nice. Yeah, it's very nice. And so begins mm -hmm. another day of the yes. final week. Count down. Three to go, including this one. One tonight. Make that four. Tonight, right. eight o'clock, a special look back with some of the interesting characters who've been on the Morning Exchange over the years. What shall I do? <laughs> Bill, can you loan me a little money? Here's yeah. Bill Baker. He's the guy who started it all. He Hi, gets Freddy. more money. How are you, Rob? He nice runs Channel Third, president of WNET Channel 13, and Don Webster, with whom we've worked since... You're the only guy around here who's been here longer than I right oh, now. Oh, stop it. I, <laughs> <laughs> and doesn't, and doesn't he look good? Yeah, you know, sure compared does. To him. yeah that's right. He, so is it going to be Hillary Clinton in New York yeah. and uh, Fred Griffith in Ohio? Is that the, uh, is that the, uh, the, 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 the slate that we're well, looking uh, at? Well, Senator Metzenbaum said I need $5 million, and yeah. I don't know how to begin. Oh, well, yeah, I, don't look at me, him. buddy. But, but, but you raise money all the time. You I come on that TV in New York Well, City. I mean, you know, in a sense, uh, what's happening in television all over America, mm -hmm. uh, the fact that the only local stations left are public TV stations, mm -hmm. uh, is that, uh, that it means that somebody... Did somebody just hang up on us? I, I was, that, was that our viewer? <laughs> and that uh, that uh, we um, uh, that that's what I have to do. I have to raise money to keep the uh, keep the place going because certainly uh, commercial television isn't going to be doing the kinds of stuff we are doing. Well, back in 1991, you all uh, had a, a vision around here. Uh, you were working with Alan Douglas, the late Alan Douglas, and with Don Paris, who was the general manager here. And you were putting together an idea for a, a long morning talk show that would deal with all kinds of issues. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the genesis of that? How did you all come up with that kind of thinking at that time? Doing uh, programming was rather challenging mm -hmm. for the home viewer. Yeah, well, I think a couple things. First of all, remember this station wasn't on the air. Uh, at 8 o'clock in the morning or at 7 o'clock in the morning. The station signed on, I think it was at 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. with Paige Palmer mm -hmm. doing her exercise show. And uh, so they gave us a time period that was uh, snow. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and there was the Today Show over there on, uh, on uh, Channel 3. And uh, Alan Douglas had done a terrific radio program for many years, and I was the producer of it. And our conclusion was, let's take a thoughtful, high-content program, rather than do something light. Mm -hmm. let's, let's presume, because I had just gotten married, and my wife was smarter than I was, and she was stuck there at home with the kids. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, let's do a television show that appeals to these bright women who can't get out of the house. And that was the real mm -hmm. beginning of the morning exchange. Yeah. And uh, we have a little video, and Don was there from the very beginning, too. From the very beginning. Yeah. Well, they were kind to me, because at that time, there wasn't much for me to do around here. <laughs> and, and Don Paris, I think, in his infinite wisdom, said, well, we'll give him this for now and, and see what happens. And uh, I worked with Alan. Yeah, started the whole show with Alan. Yep. Here's, here's some... Uh, Scenes. This was oh, after Alan. Liz and there's Joel. Uh -huh. Look at that hair. Oh my Holy God. Smoke, those sideburns. <laughs> We'd all we had a sort of a, a, a dressing room for it. It was a unisex well, dressing it, room. Well, you know, and and this gang was very much of a family. It was a uh, dysfunctional family. <laughs> but it was uh, it was very much of a family, and I think that's what the viewers loved most. They uh -huh. loved looking in on us, and we didn't know what was going to happen from day to day. Whether you know Gary D was going to shoot Liz, uh, or uh, you know or whether Joel was going to kill somebody over that parking space uh -huh. behind the station. Uh -huh. I mean, nobody really knew what was going to happen, and that's what made this program kind of yeah. a living soap opera. There you are that's a, with that rug hanging yeah, on the yeah. wall. Uh -huh. How did right. you pick the people? Well, uh, a lot of it just happened by... Uh, it started with Alan Douglas, and Alan Douglas I was working with, and he was basically the creator of the mm -hmm. program, the, of the broader idea. Mm -hmm. And I refined that. Freddie, uh, there's Susan, Susan Landis, now well, Susan we have Kern. Some sound. Who's Listen, the producer. Susan Smetna. Yep, yep. Susan uh, Smetna. You know, the smartest, Susan Kern. the smartest thing this guy ever did was get you and Liz and Joel together. Yeah, we yeah, moved because the, the, yeah. the whole yeah. idea, the whole idea was good. But uh, I, I think you have to agree. Alan was a wonderful night uh, uh, mm -hmm. radio guy. Uh, right. And. Doing morning television is a whole different, uh, different mm -hmm. animal. And he and I kind of got along like a mongoose and a cobra. <laughs> 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 to such an extent, actually, that in, I think it was in March, you said, I'm leaving the station. Yeah, that's and, right. And you did, and you went to do other things, and yep. it was a temporary thing, luckily for all of us. No, that's right. 
But uh, that's what, that's how Lizzie happened to come up because you had a videotape, I think, of Lizzie on cable down Didn't at. Didn't you come from Mansfield? Mansfield. Yeah, she Mansfield, was on Mansfield Ohio. cable, right? And uh, you know, I mean, I think the main thing was that uh, we wanted somebody to work cheap. <laughs> you know, yeah, the station hasn't changed much, and uh, and uh, and but, but but you know, she had that way. She had that personality. Mm -hmm. She had that kind of innocence and openness that worked so well. And in some ways, the success and the creation here of the Morning Exchange led to. Oprah Winfrey, right. because when I went from here to Baltimore, uh, uh, we spotted Oprah Winfrey down there, and she we said, angry. you know.